We'll see what happens in this game. Okay, Chagorn's uh, ver uh, variation against the French. The idea is d5 takes. You can't take with the uh, pawn. Uh, basically, and Mikhail Chagorn used to play this against the French back in the 1890s. I, I'm sure he used it against Tarash in their match, drawn match. Uh, one of the uh, ideas is white plays kind of like a King's Indian attack style here. Let's see how that goes. A good move for black is is c5, bishop e7 to block the file and, and play d5. Okay, I haven't seen d5 yet. Okay, there's d5. And, I don't know, this could be fine for black. This pawn may become a target. Uh, let's see how it goes. So black should probably play c5, knight c6, and queen c7, and start working on that pawn. Let's see what happens. Okay, he does play c5. Let me enlarge this. Okay. Get the board a little bigger. Okay. Now, I, I always wonder why these people move their rook pawns. I don't think this is necessary. Uh, you know, this this is not a threat. This is not a threat. You know, you just take either one. But if you play here, this creates a threat. So white has to uh, uh, do something about that. Probably bishop f4. And... Let's see. So maybe maybe h6 is designed to play g5 and and keep that out. Uh, but uh, you know h6 in this position. You know suddenly white has four defenders. Kick, come back. Uh, let's do this. Okay, now if he takes, these double pawns don't mean all that much. We have an open file. Uh, you know, game, game seems about even, but but maybe this pawn is going to be under some pressure at some point. Okay, let's see what happens. Siri is preparing to uh, set up the pawn chain, French defense style. Uh, but he will have lost the tempo when he does play d4. Doesn't want to play d4 yet. Now, why might Black might play d4 himself here? Opens up. Well, no, he's not. He's not ready to hop into d5, and Whites would be hopping into e4. But d4 wouldn't necessarily be a bad choice. Let's see. D4 takes. Now we we've created a weakness here, and if takes. Uh, white is tied down to this, but I don't know. He's got good squares for his knight. Probably too early to play d4. Let's let's take care of business back here first. Okay. So slow maneuvering game. Both sides are getting developed. White had played h4 to to hold g5 back. And Black's playing for queenside expansion. That seems to be kind of odd. It's not a normal, not the normal move. You know, we're, we're, we're declining our pawn chain. But uh, Black, if he pushes by, he's all primed for b4. It's not sure what White has. Black has plenty of play on the queen side. So c4 seems to entail some risk. Uh, in that, you know, if this pawn advances or trades, you know, this bishop springs to life. Well, so does this. But, you know, this French bishop is 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 really stuck unless uh, unless black can do something with his d-pawn. So I think this is helping black more than white because white, white's bishop already had, had a little bit of range. The black bishop really didn't. Okay, so now you can get a protected pass pawn. And he does. Okay, so uh, to me, black is black has done fine here. Um, 
you know, maybe I can generate a break here at some point, although it's not easy. Uh, Black has delayed castling. I still think he should, he should probably castle the king side, but he's he's safe. Okay, so this pawn is a potential target. This B, B file is a potential target. Uh, what should Black do here? Well, let's see. Let me get rid of the arrow. You know, I'm thinking here of strategies. I want to maybe pile up on this pawn on C4. If I push this pawn to A4, I'll keep it isolated. Okay. If I put this knight on A5 and the bishop on A6, suddenly I, I have some attackers. Now, white should find the defenders, but the point is white would be attacking. Now, we, we, have, we can't just play these without thinking. Uh, when the knight and the bishop vacate those squares, this bishop will be pointed at A8. So, yeah, it should be an interesting struggle. Let's see. Okay, so this follows through with one of my ideas. We're putting heat here. I mean, it is defended. It makes white think twice about playing knight e4. He plays it anyway. Well, surprise, surprise. Oh, no, the queen guards it. I apologize. Okay. But, um, is this check all that troublesome? Uh... I don't think it should be. Let's just see what happens. But white black apparently thinks so. Okay, so let's let's just castle. Now aside from the fact maybe white can start a sacrifice sacrificial attack over here. Uh does this really lead anywhere? Uh, I mean black may it could be tricky here. Let's see. I don't think we can do this. The idea is if you take, we take this. And the, the refutation is we just take this. And if check, check, you know, we just take back with the bishop. And the knight's protected. And black is a piece ahead. Although, how does, how does he get his knight out of there? And, and look, this queen's under, under heat. Let's see. If we come there, I guess the knight finds a way out. So I almost have to come here, and uh, I don't know. Let's see. Black's a white's a piece up. I mean, he can give up two pieces for the rook and be the exchange ahead. You know, this this should be uh, should be winning for white. You know, black's got a little compensation here. We don't have to. We, there's no hurry to do this. Um, let's see. Mm. Maybe we can come back here, and the idea is to take this. Uh, and if we if we take its ghost, we're trying to get out here. Uh, it's, white's a piece up. He can he can. This is too dangerous for black to go into. Castling, I mentioned. You know, there might be there just might be something down here. You know, if you try if you try to refute things by uh, accepting the sacrifice, you know, white does have some attacking chances here. Uh, let's see. How are you going to defend this position? This is probably dangerous. Uh, let's see. Uh, if I take that allows the queen in. Let's just do this because we can. The idea is to bring the queen in here. Let's see. So say he saves the rook. I'll just move him far away. Now I got a problem here, and let's see if I take. Don't take with the rook because you get mated. You have to take with the king. There's another sack, but I don't think white has enough wood to help out. Let's see. I don't know. It looks like black is defending this, but maybe white can you know set some stuff up. Anyway, let's see what happens. 
he just got, he just stopped the check. He says, "If you do the check, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal a pawn from you." Okay, so a little pressure down here. You know, this knight this knight got deactivated, so Black's kind of cramped, and he backs up again. Okay, um, you know, you got all your pieces out. Now you're putting them back, albeit in a different order. Uh, now White's looking okay here. Now this this pawn is not a not doing much. Okay, so. Here he's trying to restrain g6. And let's see, he took a, what? He took a knight. Okay, if you, this this hangs. We have to be careful about the rook in the corner hanging. Uh, there's no more check down here to worry about or check here. You know, white's bishops aren't looking all that good here. This, body, this game's about even. Pressure down on B2. White has a little more space, but where's White's attack? And both sides are doing a great job on the time. Offering a queen trade. Declined. Pressure on C4. Overprotects. More pressure on C4. Now here, the drawback with this move is maybe Black can Bust open those pawns. Let's see if he plays a4. I castled. Now let's see if he plays a4. Now he's, you know, what's wrong with a4? See, the first point is if white takes, uh, let's see. I think we can take this. Now if rook takes knight, that's no good for white. Black has just won the exchange. So let's see what am I missing here? Uh, if you push by, you're hanging this. You know, you almost need another defender over here. Let's put this here and see what happens. Okay, uh, but you know, Black's got some activity here. Uh, let's see. Now these knights are coming back into play. You know, this game still looks about even. Let's see what happened. Okay, so White's going for his attack. He's breaking open a file on the king's side. Now, if I could get two moves in a row, here they are. Or this way and this way. Or to C2 in this way. Uh, down to H7. Okay. Uh, back to play. Well, this weakens his king position. Was that needed? Uh, I mean, it's obvious that white has threats. Uh, maybe it is needed. Um, now, if white doesn't take on f6, black, so black may just push by. Well, we have to stop this. I mean, this is coming at some point. Maybe rook here, and if queen e4, we play knight f8. Uh... Uh, it looks like white's okay here. Black's okay too. Okay. So he weakened his position. Let's see how it turns out. Okay, there's a target. But it's well defended. Both kings look a little shaky. White has more force on the king side though than black does. Now, that's interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, oh wait, no, he can do it because the... Uh, knight takes, bishop takes. I can't play rook takes without dropping the rook. Okay, so white is bagged a pawn. You know, he's got an extra f pawn on the board, so to speak. 
and covering an attack down here. Check. Ouch. Uh, that seems to be decisive. Uh, if the king moves, f7 drops. If the rook comes back, d7 drops. If the knight comes back, d8 drops. So there goes the bishop on d8. He didn't want it. What am I missing? Oh, he's on. He's counterattacking this. Okay. I don't know. This this looks good for black. Let's see. Uh, maybe it's not as good as I thought. Uh, I want to get this bishop to d5. Whoops, to d5. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> looks like black has some resources, so bishop here. Now this is a threat. Okay, so black surviving. He still has a pass pawn. White's two bishops look nice, but they're pointed away from the uh, black king. But they sure are covering a lot of territory on the uh, on the queen side. Okay, what's your queen? Not it. If it comes to a4, it's just out of play. Best is to keep it on the back rank, I'm thinking. You know, C, I can't go to c8, can't go to got to go to b8. Let's see if he goes there. That's where, you go, where does he put Oh, you just got a sack. Did you have to sack? Oh, it's not a sack. Never mind. Okay. Do the queens come off here? Yep. So we're headed for late middle game. Transition for the ending, but Bishop D5 looks awful strong for uh, for White here. Now those bishops are going to shift direction. Okay, so Black stepped into a pin, and it's still pinned, and still under attack. <coughs> so how does Black get out of this uh, nightmare? Uh, more importantly, how does White? win that knight. It's not that easy when one of his pieces is a dark squared bishop. You can't uh, pile up on it. <laughs> Let's see. White to play could play f4. That threatens f5. That may be decisive. Yeah, that's what he does. How do you defend that if you're black? How do you stop f5? I don't think you do. And there it goes. And black's going to lose that D pawn. Check. That D pawn, it's a goner. Wait. Could. Now, if he does Check. this. I think we can take this. A lot of queen and come back here. Check. <laughs> and uh, black's going to be a rook down. Uh, he has to take that. And blacks are worked down. So now we just stop the pawn, I guess. And he decides to keep it for a while. And it won't be long, that bishop is. Back here, so white's a piece up. White's, white's a piece up. Black's low on time. And Black's just giving away stuff. That pawn is becoming in, unstoppable, and this this looks severe. So he parts with the uh, exchange, and then here White plays the trick. If Black takes uh, the rook, White pushes the pawn, and the Black King can't get over to stop it. Neither can the bishop. Or, and there it goes. And check. Now there's no way for Black to stop that pawn. This looks like Black resigned here. Yeah, Black resigned. Okay. Uh, it looked like Black was doing okay, and then when that exchange on 
that pin ar ar uh, arose on this diagonal, it just seemed to be, let's see, let's go back uh, 26 and see what happens. That just seemed to do them in. Okay, so there's the bishop to d5 move. Okay, so how did this happen? Okay, we guarded, we guarded the mate, or the check rather, now counterattacking the, the bishop. And this, this looks reasonable, but I guess this is a threat. Um, So you know, white. Well, it's bishops although they're pointing to the queen side. They're gonna that that light square is gonna switch gears and just do a ninety degree turn from d five and pester that poor rook on uh, f seven. Uh, black doesn't have rook f seven here. Uh, all right, did I say rook f seven? I meant rook e seven. So he closes down that, but then just trades and comes here, and it looks to be all over. You know, how does you know how does Black survive this? I mean, he can give up the exchange, but you know, this is Check. this is winning for White. You know, Black's best drawing chances would be if this bishop was on on a light square, but. That's not going to happen. Here's the thing, they weren't pawns there for a long time, so apparently the F6 move uh, just did him in. Um, and we come back to my idea. But, you know, White's getting some attacking chances here. I don't know, maybe White could go by. Uh, that attacks the knight. The knight needs to retreat. Oh, maybe, you know, White well, might have to give this up. Maybe Black is getting somewhere here. Okay, bishop take, bishop takes. Uh, you know, white's, black still got that pass pawn on d4. Uh, white's king side attack looks more dangerous than black's king side attack, a lot more dangerous. You know, this definitely, uh, definitely comes down to the uh, two players and, and what they see and what they don't see. Okay, uh, let's, uh, how long did Black stayed in the center for a long time. Maybe, maybe he couldn't afford to castle here. He hadn't castled yet. Maybe it's one of those positions where you can just delay castling. Again, you know, I like coming back to this move. But we can't take with the knight. The knight's pinned. You know, white doesn't really have a, a, a way to get at this king I mean, on, on e8. Okay. I'm going to stop this one.